It's week 64 of Zer, so I'm going to show you guys his location and what he has this week, as well as give you guys my recommendations, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 64 of Zer, and I do apologize for not getting this video out to you earlier, however, better late than never, right? But before we get into the video, if you haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken Annual Pass giveaway for the month of January 2019, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. Now, I will be doing a video uh, for the winners of December, and just stay tuned for that. So, Zer is located on Nessus. And he is by the Watcher's Grave in this area right here. So let's go ahead and find out what he has this week. Zer, what's up, dude? So, like always, we're going to start with the left-hand side. We have the Weapon of the Week, which is the Risk Runner, which is an ARC submachine gun. Then we have Young Ahamkara Spine for the Hunter. Karnstein Armlets for the Warlock, as well as Armamentarium for the Titan. Now, these two were actually available last week from Zer, and if you guys want to know the tier ratings for these, I will put a link to that video in the description box below. So, we are going to go ahead and start with the Young Ahamkara Spine for the Hunter. And terms of perk on this is Wish Dragon Teeth, which ability damage grants enhanced trip mines. Then we have Fusion Rifle Loader, Hand Cannon Loader, Impact Induction, Sniper Rifle Scavenger, as well as Machine Gun Scavenger. Ah. I love that machine guns are back. Now, this is an okay exotic. Definitely is not top tier because I feel like the Young Ahamkara Spine from Destiny 1 was a lot better because it gave you two trip mine grenades. This does not. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and rate this probably a tier 2.5 in PvE and PvP. It's still decent, but it's not that good. So, even though I said I'm not going to go over these two, I will go over the perks that are on them. We have Fusion Rifle Loader, Hand Cannon Loader, Impact Induction, Sniper Rifle Scavenger, as well as Machine Gun Scavenger, as well as uh, Unflinching Bow Aim, Unflinching Fusion Rifle Aim, Unflinching Kinetic Aim, uh, Scout Rifle Reserves, as well as Special Ammo Finder. Now, if these two perks are better than last week's, then go ahead and grab these. If not, then don't worry about it. So, as for the Risk Runner, Intrinsic perk on this is Arc Conductor, which taking arc damage increases weapon power and arc resistance then we have arrowhead break extended mag superconductor which when arc conductor is active shots fired have a chance to become chain lightning and return ammo then we have short attack stock now uh this actually has two different ornaments with it electric violet which looks like that looks pretty cool and then it also has a uh, summer storm now these two ornaments do not come with the weapon, but these are two ornaments that you can get for it. Now the Risk Runner is a pretty decent weapon, definitely good in PvE, a lot better than PvP, so I will definitely give it a 1.5 to tier 2 in PvE, but definitely probably a tier 2 to 2.5 in PvP. Last but not least, we have your Consumables, which is your Five of Swords, and then we have your Faded Engram, which is worth 97 Legendary Shards. And, and fortunately, it still does not give you um, Forsaken Exotics. Like I said before, I will be announcing the winners in the next video for the Destiny 2 Forsaken um, giveaway for the month of December 2018. So definitely stay tuned for that. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know. You might just enjoy them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.